to migrate data from Excel, what I will use is the assisted setup. In the assisted setup, I will then launch the migrate business data wizard. And you can run that multiple times if you would like to. What I will do is select the next button, select the option import from uh, Excel. And then I need to download the template file, which I can then fill with uh, data. I also have the possibility to go to settings and in these settings, I can apply, for example, a customer template. Once I've done that, I can click on the next button in which I can then choose the file that I would like to uh, import. Here we have an Excel file, which I prepared. It contains different uh, tabs. So for example, you can see items, vendors, customers, and gel accounts. And what you'll notice is that I did not provide any gel accounts because I already have them in my tenants. However, I have some customer item and vendor data. And if you look a little bit closer at the customer data, I've foreseen every column of uh, information, uh, except a number of columns, like for example, uh, the customer posting group has no value. The default business posting group has no uh, value. So a number of columns have been left uh, blank. So I prepared my uh, Excel file, which is very easy to do. Next, I will save the Excel file and then I will import it into Business uh, Central. So I will do that by selecting the Choose button. Then I will select the file which I would like to uh, import, which Business Central will now analyze to see if it can be uh, imported. Once the file has been analyzed uh, completely, uh, we will see that on a summary screen. Here we are on the summary screen where we can notice that it found customers, items, and vendors. To be more specific, I have 68 customers, 68 vendors, and 149 items, which I can now uh, import. And I will do that by selecting the Migrate button. So when you click on Migrate, all of the information which was imported from the Excel file will be applied in the different uh, tables. In my example, the Customer table, the Vendor table, and the Item table. Let's wait a couple of seconds and now have a look at uh, the result. At the end of the import, the wizard will state if there were any errors during import, yes or no. If you would like to see these errors in case there are errors, you can click on the show errors button uh, where you might notice that uh, some fields might have been uh, missing or didn't have any information in related uh, tables. And in this case, I had some errors on my uh, vendors, which I uh, imported. So in that case, I might need to clean up and start the import again for these vendors. On the other hand, if I click on the finish button, uh, I notice that I did not get any errors for my customers. So if I now go and have a look in the customer table, then uh, you will notice all of my customers have been uh, imported. And the information which was in the Excel file is now also available on every customer uh, record. And what you notice is that even though I did not specify any uh, business posting groups on the customers, they have still been uh, imported because of the customer template which was uh, applied.